Tomorrow night, the Stingrays are rebranding themselves as the Sharks for South Carolina Sharks Night in honor of what the team was almost named. The Stingrays will wear throwback style jerseys featuring the original South Carolina Sharks logo. For this week's Palmetto Sports, I'm joined by Owen Gund, the Director of Communications and Broadcasting for the Stingrays, and of course, Live 5 Sports, Kevin Billiday. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. Thank this is you. fun. We're doing something different this week. Yes. But first of all, Owen, we have to talk about something that's really important to us here at Live 5. The Super Bowl. Yeah. It is days away. Days away. We are less than three weeks away. In fact, I have a specifically, we are 16 days away 16 days. from the Super Bowl being right here on Live 5. And this was an important one because back in 1992, on this day, Leslie Visser, becomes the first woman to hand over the Lombardi Trophy wow. to the winning team of the Super Bowl. Girl and th power. That was a game on CBS, and it was seen by 123 million people. Wow. So just a few less than are watching this segment right now <laughs> saw that Super Bowl and saw Leslie Visser hand out that, that Super Bowl trophy. So that yeah. was a historic day. We're going to expect another historic day when the Super Bowl is right here on Live 5. Oh, and Usher nervous. plays the halftime show right yeah. here on Live 5 that you will see. So we are very excited. Can't wait for that 16 days yeah. away. I'm nervous for this weekend, though. There's some big games this weekend. Big game. We're going to have the cross. AFC Championship game here on Live 5 coming up on Sunday afternoon yes. as Baltimore uh, takes on it takes on the Chiefs and this is like your two worlds colliding. Is. This is the Ravens against Taylor Swift. I know, it's really hard. And so what are you what are you thinking? I as much as I love Taylor Swift, I, I gotta go for the Ravens on this one. The Swifties are going to come after you for this. I know, it's okay. They I don't know me. if it will be. They know I'm they know I'm a real deal. Okay, we gotta move on All from, right. from this because she's gonna Taylor Swift's gonna get upset with me about that one. <laughs> I know I am. All right, let's talk about Stingrays. Um there's a pretty big weekend coming up for Stingrays. Stingrays have had you guys have had so many home games this year. Yeah. First of all, we've had uh, well, we have a total of nine home games this month, so wow. it's uh, it's really exciting. You know, just a lot going into planning. We just had our pucks and paws game this past Sunday, so there were dogs all over the crowd, so Aww. that was really fun. Uh, but yeah, we got three home games all weekend, so we're all really excited about it. Okay, so tonight we have a game. It's Frothy Friday. Yep. yep. Um, so what does that mean? Which, uh, I mean, every time we put something out, uh, the fans uh, just like tell me about it. They're like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. It's like <laughs> uh, $5 frothy beard beers uh, from when doors open till the end of the first intermission. So um, really good opportunity for the fans to come in, get rowdy, enjoy some hockey. Get Definitely. there early. Get there early, yeah. Take advantage. Yeah, why not? Got to get a deal. Saturday, though. Saturday's the Saturday's big, the big, the big day this yeah. weekend. What's going on? So we can see here this uh, special jersey we're going to be wearing. Yes. We... Uh, we were almost named the South Carolina Sharks. And so uh, Doug Bray, the first employee ever hired by the team, uh, he designed this logo, which is really impressive. Uh, you know, this is our 31st year of operation. He designed this back in the early 90s. Um, and it never made it to the ice. We ended up going with the Stingrays, but we actually used this logo like pretty similar. We just had a Stingray instead of a shark, but we kept mm. the state outline in the original logo. But, you know, we thought it would be pretty cool to have that logo make it on the ice for just one night. Yeah, and there's a good cause um, that's going to be benefiting from this, right? Yep, we are going to be, uh, all these, these jerseys are going to be uh, auctioned off, the game-worn jerseys uh, during the game, and a portion of the proceeds are going to be going to the South Carolina Aquarium. So we've loved working with them um, and a great nonprofit here in the area, and we're really excited for, for them to benefit from this as well. This is a huge, you know, what could have been, because the Stingrays <laughs> have become so ingrained in the low country, and, you know, anytime mentions the Rays, you know we're talking about the hockey team, and to think it could have been the Sharks and it could have been completely different is just mind-blowing. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, you know, and I would say that it's 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 worked out in the end, and we're we're really happy about that. But it is going to be kind of cool to celebrate, you know, the early days in the in of the franchise when when Doug was, you know, the first employee hired. He was he was wearing a lot of hats back as they were trying to just form everything. But uh, when he uh, sold merchandise, original Sharks merchandise, uh, he was saying, you know, telling me like it, it sold out within hours. Like people were really excited about this name and. Obviously, it's worked out in the end, but it's going to be cool for the fans to see like what could have been. Mm -hmm. And this is always something you see with throwbacks. You know, we mm -hmm. see with the River Dogs too. Mm -hmm. Anytime they they have a throwback night and wear the old Rainbows uniforms, yeah. they auction those off and they go really fast. And I expect these will go really fast too. If you're a big Stingrays fan and you're someone who's been going to these games for 30 plus years, having a piece of this history is something that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely will be. And I I, d I think too, just like the the history. Every time we kind of honor that, um, like you know, we see our fans every time it blows up. Like last. Last night, uh, two former head coaches of the Stingrays for the first time ever, they score, they took on each other as NHL head coaches, mm. um, and our fans were super 
you know, thrilled about that. So, you know, we're the longest tenured uh, ECHL franchise to still be in its original city. And so there's a really, you know, big history that, you know, fans can be proud of. And we saw just a couple of weeks ago, too, the All-Star game down in Savannah, two more Stingrays going into the Hall of Fame. Jason yeah. Fitzsimmons, who has been around the team forever. He was the head coach when I started here 19 years ago, and he's moved up to an executive role with the Washington Capitals now. And then Brad Dexter also going into the ECHL Hall of Fame as well. It was it was really, really cool to honor those guys. And, you know, especially like Fitzy, someone who's, you know, been with the organization for so long, you know, started his days as a player when he's the goalie for the original team that won it all. Um, and then, you know, then being a coach and then an executive coming out, like he won the like, Stanley Cup in 2018, decides to bring it back to Charleston. Uh, it's, it's so cool. Guys like that who have done so much just to, to grow hockey here. You see how big it is at the Ice Palace at the youth level. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're, we're really proud of all of that. Mm -hmm. And what about Sunday? Sunday's another theme night, right? Yeah, so it's, it's going to be our mascot mania game. So uh, just some, some mascots from all around the low country. Uh, you know, Charlie the River Dog will be there, and, and we're really excited about Look that. Look at that. We even have the mascots on the screen. That's right. It's, it's going to be Cool Ray's birthday, too, so we're going to be celebrating ah. that. Cool Ray. Happy birthday, Cool Ray. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here, Owen and Kevin. Thank you both so much.